<laughs> All right, Eric, tell us about what you're about to do here. All right, Eric, what, uh, what do we got going here today? So, what we're doing is we're gonna finally, finally, install my Razorback belt temp gauge. How long has that thing been sitting in your garage ready <laughs> to go in? Way too long, <laughs> way too long. And if we, uh, if we flash back to the uh, Grand Canyon run, we'll know why we wanted this thing. 100%. Which we can do <laughs> right now. what it looks like after 20 miles of towing and about 20 feet behind a razor. <laughs> I don't know what I look like, but it's probably ridiculous. Yeah, it is ridiculous. I mean, it's um, but uh, so what we're trying to do is figure out exactly where to install it. These guys keep bothering me. Who's trying to figure out where it goes? <laughs> I think, Royce, we got to figure it out already, don't we? Oh, we do. I mean, there's no questions about this. He doesn't want to hear it. <laughs> All right, we're going to go through the options anyway. Okay. So... I bought this 3D printed thing. And it no. can go right there. But that's angled pretty far down. It's gonna be hard to see. I don't think you see it in the sunlight. No. No, I agree. I don't think you see it in the sunlight. My other option was right here in case I do the engine temp gauge. But mm. I don't think I'm gonna ever do that. What did Facebook say on engine temp gauge? They all said no. I guess so. I need to. I guess I need to listen. So where's the gauge gonna go? The gauge is gonna go right here. Hey! Where it's supposed to. Check this out. <laughs> Look at this. It's like it's made for it. It is made for it. Right there. Razorback and uh, Kawasaki work together to formulate that one little they circle on the did. dash for their belt, their belt temp gauge. So. They did. So that's where we're putting it. We got them talked into it. Yeah, after 15 minutes, it, I felt like I just asked my wife where she wanted to eat. <laughs> and you, she says, I don't care. You name a suggestion. No, no. What else? That's Eric tonight. That was exactly it. But I got this 3D printed piece. <laughs> so cool, though. <laughs> we can gonna, find something to put there. It's actually, it's it's definitely going to look the best that's right the spot. there. All right, Ryan. All right, here you go. <laughs> so a minute ago, I was asking Eric, I was like, you gotta take the bottom of your door off? And he goes, no, that's not a door, that's a shroud. It covers my gas tank, which sits under my seat, which sits under the thing, just so I can get to the clutch. So mind you, this is the guy that was giving Royce and I all sorts of flack yesterday, or two days ago, when we were working on the Razor, and you'll see that video tomorrow. Yeah. Um, about how difficult, oh my gosh, you guys gotta take the whole center plastics out to get the seat belts <laughs> off? No way, I can't believe that. These things are so hard to work on. You That's ready incredible. to get a razor? No, because I don't want to work on it. <laughs> Freaking sucks to work on this thing. It's awful. So, but this one's boggling my mind right now is that you have to take the middle plastic out to take your harnesses out. Stop. Let alone it took him 20 minutes just to get the plastic off so he oh, could pull Oh, stop. <laughs> we timed it. It was 16 and a half minutes. How long did it take us to get the center tunnel So this is what you have to do to get the clutch out in Eterix. Like oh. right here is your gas tank. <laughs> Back here is support for your uh, seat. I mean, it, come on, come it's, on, come on it's a way. disaster. Come this way. Don't turn that off yet. This is the pile of parts that you have to remove. <laughs> Off of a Terex to get to the clutch. Yeah. So shrouds, there's more over here. Seat you've got to take out. Here's the gas tank. There's the clutch cover. God yeah. forbid you blow a belt on the trail. Oh, right. You it's... get towed 20 miles. That's what happens. <laughs> That's exactly right. By a razor. <laughs> All right, Eric, tell us about what you're about to do here. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I'm going to cut out this. <laughs> he just asked me. Hey, you still have that razor knife in your pocket? I said, yeah. So what are you doing? He's like, oh, I gotta cut out my switch panel so I can put the switch in. I go, they don't just pop out? And he goes, no, do yours? I go, uh, yeah. Apparently in the razor they do, yeah. the Terex they do not. So 
Yeah, I'll take seat belts that I have to unbolt. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Kawasaki life. Yeah, Kawasaki life. That's well, one of those rare moments where we catch Royce working on his own stuff. Yeah, that's right. I use an impact <laughs> on beadlocks. For those of you watching at home, don't do it. But we had to take a break from picking on Eric to get these brand new System 3 SS360 sand and snow tires from System 3. Heck yeah, 32s. These are the brand new. Check these out. 10 inch SB5s, exclusive. Look how deep those things are. It's madness. That's a deep dish pizza right there. Dude, this thing is gonna look so good. Chicago deep dish. You might not want to put those Rockzillas back on because these look too good. <laughs> Catch me out on the rocks with these. <laughs> All right, now that we got the uh, gauge installed in the dash, what's next? Yeah, so now what we're going to do is we're going to mark where the actual temp gauge goes. So what Razorback says is it needs to go directly over the top of the belt. You want to okay. put it right over that so it reads the actual belt temp gauge. So in between the primary and the secondary? Yeah, so what we're going to do, so I just, I slipped the clutch back on just so we can have an idea of where that's going. Okay. And then we're just going to mark it and, uh, and that's what we'll... Draw, draw so a hole for it. Point somewhere, like kind of point in there, yeah. kind of where we think. We're so gonna... I think what we're going to do is we're going to do go right in between them right here. Okay. Um, so it's almost about, I don't know, a two o'clock on the secondary here. Okay. And we'll just go right on the top right there. there. Okay, cool. Yeah. All right, this is do or die. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> we passed the point of no return now. Oh, that was easy. That was easy. Jeez. Okay. All right. well, let's go up a size and try <laughs> so that what's, again. So how big a hole are we drilling in this? So what we've got to do is we've got to drill a half inch hole okay. for that sensor to go in. And you don't have to tap it or anything. Um, you just put it in there and then there's a nut on the inside that you can tighten it and it okay. secures it. So, um, but what we're doing, was we're, we're just stepping up. So I did an eighth inch. Okay. Now we're going to do a quarter and then after that we'll do half. Perfect. So, right. so, so we're having a little problem with the skinnier ones. This is his method. <laughs> I'll bet if you had your hiking shoes on, it would work. You got to throw it in there. <laughs> Is it going? Might be. <laughs> no. Look like a monkey wrestling a football. That's a PG version for those of you that never heard that. All right, are you done? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm not done until you are. Want the white flag? Yeah. It's going, isn't it? Kind of. Need some fat boy help? Yeah. All right, hold on. There we go. He got it. Woo. Look at that. Perfect. Woo. All right, Eric's got the sensor in right where we marked it earlier. You can see it down underneath there and see it up here on top. So there's a yep. little uh, cable that ex extends back up to the gauge. So what's next? Yeah, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to try to do it without taking any more plastic off. Because <laughs> we've got enough all off already. Um, so run this cable from there uh, to the gauge. And uh, and then we'll do the, the last of the wiring for it. Awesome. So we got to get power to the gauge via the switch yep. to the battery or the fuse terminal and then the... Yep. Sensor switch back up to the to the gauge as well. Yep. So all right, well uh, we're gonna turn a time lapse on and you guys can watch us run cabling. Yay! Yeah, fun. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. Cool. So we got the cable run from the sensor up through connected to the back of the, uh, the the display here and now we're just wiring up the switch and the power so white switch cable labeled really nice for you power and this one's really cool so this is a fan cable so what Razorback has told me is they're actually coming out with a with a CBT belt fan and what will happen is you can connect this to it and once this temp gauge reads a certain temperature 
it'll kick the fan on for you, which I think is super slick. So I'm kind of looking forward to that, hoping I can maybe do that once they come out with it. But uh, um, so we'll just tuck this one away and uh, make the final connections. Great, cool. All right, well, we're almost back together. Eric's walking around like Mr. Burns now because he's been knocked over for half an hour. Trying to put the clutches back in. There we go. All right, we're done. we're done messing around with Eric. There we go. He's not going to come back. I might not. Then we're going to have to learn how to edit videos, Royce. Right? This is not good. <laughs> Eric, can we tell you, remember how valuable you are? Uh-huh. How much we love you. That's what I've heard all night. How important to this team you are. <laughs> Nothing but love. <laughs> All right, moment of truth. What do we got? All right, we ready? Dun, dun, dun. Boom. Hey, it works. It works. Yeah, cool. So check this out. So uh, the new one, oh, that's just a little crooked. There we go. The new one has a dimmer. Ooh. So Gen 2, or I can't remember what they call it, but it's pretty sweet. So at least at night, it's not going to blind you. Yeah, that's really cool. Anyway. Especially for during the day, you can turn it way up and still see it. Yeah, absolutely. So I'm pretty stoked to finally have this on here and be able to, I want to see what... Uh... Dude, that thing's in the perfect spot. <laughs> Glad, I Just saying. Glad I listened <laughs> to sure. you guys. <laughs> so, yeah, so I'm stoked to have that finally. It'll uh, it'll be nice. I'm going to be interested to see what kind of average temps are and what it gets up to and that kind of stuff. So. Oh, here's a 3D printed part. Oh, yeah, thank you. But this is my first time seeing this uh, fancy oh, shifter, nice, dude. Huh? Isn't that all sorts of sexy? Viper. Yeah. So brand new Viper shifter shift gate for the uh, for the Terex. And uh, so show the top right here. So it's actually got a built-in winch button on the top. A lot of dudes, uh, a lot of dudes run um, um, snow, plow? snow plows, and so to be able to go, you know, forward reverse in and out just with your hand on this shift gate, pretty sick. So I thought that was a super slick idea. Plus it looks good. Fit and finish of this thing is just fantastic. It's beautiful. That thing's awesome. So. It's so nice. So stoked for some upgrades. Cool. Come Let's on Viper, give us, give us some razor parts, Viper. <laughs> they've, they've got some for the Pro, none for the Turbo S yet. So no. I'm looking for it. We need some Turbo S parts. Talk them into some stuff, I guess. This stuff <laughs> is too pretty not to have it. Oh man, it's so nice. So. Well, what do we got for next videos coming up? Well, we got a video. Well, I guess it won't be tomorrow. But, It'll be tomorrow uh, for us. Well, what yeah, big stuff do we have planned? So we've got uh, coral pink planned. I think we've got glamis planned. Not glamis. Whoa, is it glamis? We're going to glamis. Yeah. <laughs> I thought where were we going? No, we we're going to go to Dumont. Dumont. Oh, Dumont. Yeah. That's right. It's a little closer. We we're going to Dumont. That's a little closer for us. We might end up in glamis. Who knows? <laughs> Yeah, maybe, maybe later. Can't tell. We're in the middle. And uh, in May, we've got the Rally on the Rocks in Moab. That's Heck right. yeah. Definitely looking forward to that. Yeah. Potentially uh, the, what is it, Outlaw? Yeah, the Outlaw, Outlaw ATV Jamboree, Jamboree in, in Vernal, Vernal, Utah. Yeah. So, so we're going to that'll be try cool. to swing that one. Yeah. So check that one out. We're going to try to go to that one too. And then, uh, and then uh, we're going to add some more to the trail series. Yep. So we've yeah, got some more got trails. Nice. Yeah, we've got a handful to still do. That's right. And we want to do them before summer, so we're going to get busy. <laughs> yeah, we're not done with Sand Hollow yet. That's right. That stuff's not going away, but we're going to do a little bit of travel in here and do a little bit of different content, try to get some sand stuff in there, try to get some some events in there. We had a great time at the uh, Winter Jamboree out here in Sand Hollow. I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah. Getting to meet people and talk to you guys and kind of you know hear your thoughts on videos we've already put out and what you guys want to see next and stuff like that so keep those comments coming keep letting us know what you guys want to see um because we probably want to film it if you guys want to see it so keep them coming yeah yep and like i always say if you watch this don't be rude <laughs> go ahead and subscribe thanks yeah. <laughs>